welcome back everybody it's kyle here aka the woodshed bringing you guys another clash of clans video today we are back on our crash course in clash of clans um i know it is a big shame i'm not giving you guys something during um clan war league trust me i want to but uh i've and you know I, i'm debating streaming some of these clan war league attacks i'm towards the end it looks like somebody was just attacking we're actually in day one right now um for clan war league and as you can see at the woodshed 2 we're having an okay war we're having a couple flubs but and as you can see a couple of them zan was one the girlfriend was one i was also one it looks like colta also had one big sad but that's not what we're here for today um so you're gonna notice something that i didn't get to show you the upgrades right when i first got here the reason for that was i actually got on over the weekend i didn't touch any upgrades you can still see everything looks almost exactly the same um, the reason for that being that I actually um, got on to do some uh, some capital raids. So um, I have officially hit Town Hall 6 in this account, so I can start using capital raids. You can see how I have 491 um, here in the top corner. So yeah, that's what that is. That's why you guys didn't get to see it. Um, but yeah, we're back here on our now Town Hall 6 Um Brand new Town Hall 6, might I add, and it's time for us to play some catch-up. Um, we did get our new spell factory. Um, actually got finished. We're going to train some more spells up there, which is going to be really nice. Next things we're going to prioritize is playing catch-up with through everything else, essentially. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to redeem our um, golden elixir from our four-time star bonus. Absolutely love to see that. First thing we're going to do, and one of the most important things we ever do when going to a new Town Hall, upgrading that clan castle. Getting that extra five housing space is going to be huge. I cannot preface this nearly enough every single time we do it. Um, the air sweeper is something else I really want to consider doing right now just because of how expensive it is. I'm going to take a look and see how expensive everything is here and see, kind of do some math here and make sure that's the one that's worth doing. Oh, look, we can go ahead and do the town hall. Let's just, no, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that just yet. Hey, everybody. Woodshed of the future here as I'm editing this video right now. Something got corrupted in between the section you just finished seeing and the section you're about to see where I start raiding. Something got corrupted or missing there, so I'm sorry. I have no idea what happened to it, but that's why you're seeing me now. We're going into a raid. Thank you so much for your patience. Here we go. Cool. So we're here picking apart a base, one very similar to how we always look. We're going to test a single wall breaker, then we're going to send in a couple of them. To break open that wall, we're going to send in a bunch of giants. We're actually going to lightning spell. Because these are clustered together, we're actually going to lightning spell that air defense and that mortar at the same time. We're going to put down a couple more wall breakers to try and get into that section right there with that air defense, which is going to be really important. We're going to put down some barbarians. We're going to put down some archers to kind of help um, relieve some of that pressure. We're going to put in our balloons now. Um, put down our clan castle balloons, put down a couple more up here at the top, and just watch everything just, I mean, flatten through this base. Should be simple and easy enough. Yeah, absolutely love to see it. Balloons are all converting on one spot. Barbarians, archers help clean up the bottom. Giants are running around doing whatever giants do, being big, slow, and annoying. Um, I'm almost at a point where I could almost just stop using the giants altogether if I wanted to, because balloons are just so strong. But, probably not going to do that until Town Hall 7. Um, that's when I'll probably commit to not using the Giants nearly as much. Um, as you can tell, nothing in the corners either. So, super nice and easy raid. So, we're going to be, well, we'll just go ahead and wait for that. Finish that out. Perfect. Three stars. Take a look at the rewards. 205,000 gold, 106,000 elixir. That's awesome. And we're going to cut back to some more upgrades now. Alright, so we've come back post-raid. Got some extra monies. Got, oh man, Clan Castle finished upgrading already? I didn't even realize that. That's amazing. We absolutely love seeing that. We're actually just going to reinforce that because it's only a couple of raid medals. So absolutely, why not? Something I didn't realize or didn't think about um, when I put down that upgrade is I can actually upgrade my spells now again. So I'm going to put down my lightning spell to start the second half of this episode. Let's take a look at what's in there. Got a little bit more monies and stuff like that. Absolutely awesome. Love to see it. Um, and we're going to put down, well, first of all, we're going to get rid of these couple trunks. 
collect our 150 raid medals. Always nice just to have a couple free medals, even though it's not going to matter. In the grand scheme of things, I'm going to pretend and tell myself it will. Still can't get that. Big sad. Um, so coming off of here, here's what we're going to do. Still cannot upgrade that. That is a damn shame. So I think what we're going to do here is play catch up with the rest of our... Um, buildings here. So we're going to put down that wizard tower. We're going to put down that air defense. We're going to put down that mortar. Um, and that's going to leave us just shy of uh, caught up. The mortar will need another level to go um, before we're all caught up on this. But we're going to... Uh... Yeah, oh man. And then with that lightning spell upgrade, that's actually going to be nice. I, I could boost that with the research potion. I don't really want to do that. It's a 24-hour boost. That's only a 7 or an 8-hour um, boost. It's a little on the overkill side. So what I am going to do um, is do some raiding off camera. By the way, I'll show you guys. The wow, look at this damn base. Oh, this is going to be irritating. I don't know that I can actually get all the monies from this. But I'll be damned if I'm not going to try. Alright, there's only one air defense. Unless I'm just straight up missing it. I'm going to test for clan castle troops. Nothing there. I'm going to put down my lightning spells there to uh, get rid of some of that um, that air defense and that um, and those archer towers, which are going to be nice for me to not have to deal with. I'm going to put those down there. Put a handful of my loons there. Put down some barbarians and archers right over there, so those can be dealt with. And the rest of this base should be cleaned through entirely. Sorry for the weird edit there. Um, I don't know what's going on with my computer or my editing software. That everything has just been absolutely struggling um, when trying to make this video. So I apologize for the weird couple edits on this one. Um, we went into a raid, obviously, as you can tell. And found a really nice fat juice one. I was originally going to do the raiding off camera. Then I saw how short the video was going to be. Um, and I found this 300,000 a peace raid which I just did not want to keep you guys away from I mean that's just some big loot there and you can see the value that I got from my lightning spells here too along with my hog riders just showing you how valuable um, clan castle troops really can be um, and you can see I mean I still got giants left the only thing I don't have left around here is hogs and my wall breakers obviously um, oh man and there is stuff in the oh no it's just in that one corner okay but um Clan Castle troops came in huge, super easy raid, tons of money, and we're going to head back to the home village as soon as these two builder huts are down. Boom. Nice and easy. Heading back to the home village with probably our best raid yet. And so that's going to do us for today's video. Um, I hate that we're doing so little upgrades in this one. Um, and that we only did a couple of raids, a handful of upgrades, so I apologize for that, man. But we're, we're getting kind of caught up as far as to the Town Hall 6 stuff goes, so we'll go into the more important stuff. In the next episode, again, I apologize so much for some of the weird edits. I don't know what's going on with the software, which is another reason why I'm decided just to cut it here as is. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. Hopefully... I will have some more best of at each Town Hall attacks coming really soon, I hope, to share with you guys. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks, everybody.